It is cold outside uh, in March, and I'm about to do art assignment number two, the stakeout. I am at my local grocery store, and I'm going to be setting some of my pieces of art in the store kind of randomly. Uh, what I'm going to be setting, I'll show you, is these little guys. These guys are my little birds. And I crochet these, and I usually, typically what I do is I hang them with a string, uh, but I decided I'm just going to set them down. It'll be a little easier and quicker to do. And there's a nice uh, sitting area next to the coffee place where I can set them. So I'm going to try to do that and then see what happens. So, so this is a big store. Um, I've been here a few times. This is my favorite store uh, to shop at. And there's somebody working uh, where in the original spot she's cleaning up the coffee area, which I'm not going to complain about because people should clean areas, but it's kind of putting a bubble in my plane. So I'm doing a little something a little different. I'm kind of sending them throughout the store since they're so big. I want to give everybody an opportunity to interact with the birds. Um, so I'm going to like one side of the store, I'm placing a couple of them, going to the other side. So I just sat like three of them next to some like a donut area. Um, now I'm going to set some kind of a home goods section. So I just left the grocery store where the birds were. So kind of a report of what happened. Uh, I put the birds throughout the store. Two of my birds just kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. They, I don't know if they were taken by employees. I don't know if they were taken by uh, customers. I'm not really sure what happened. But uh, I'd like to think a customer took them because there was nothing around it to show that an employee took them. There wasn't anything clean, there wasn't anything restocked, so I'm not exactly sure. Another thing uh, was that <clears throat> one of the birds was set in front of a donut door, and when she opened the door, she didn't see the bird, and the bird fell on the ground, and she noticed it. And so she picked it up after she got her donut, she picked it up, looked at it, kind of examined, flipped it around, and just put it back on the counter right in front of that door. And so it was really interesting that she didn't try to like put it somewhere else so that it wouldn't get knocked down on the ground. She just put it exactly where it was. So I don't know why she did that, but it was interesting. Uh, and then I think the most interesting was this older woman who worked at the store. She has this like poofy gray white hair and she saw the birds while she was working, cleaning up the coffee station and she just picked it up. She kind of looked at it. She brought it to her register and just kind of placed it at her register. And then she was talking with one of the guys, uh, one of the older gentlemen that came and got coffee, and she said, I'm not really sure if someone set it there, or I'm not really sure if somebody accidentally left it. And so what I think she was doing was she was putting it by her register, so if somebody lost it, they would come back and find it. What's funny is that there was another one there, and then she noticed it, I think maybe like five minutes later, and she's like, what is going on? And so she took both of them and put them in a very distinct location, where uh, I think it was kind of up high so that other people could see them. What was going through my head the whole time was when she put them in the lost and found area, I wanted to pick those up and put them somewhere totally different and then like kind of restart. But I sat back and I thought, well, no, they've been interacted with. This is what the interaction is. The interaction is a very good employee picks it up and doesn't and does not try to take it but puts it so that other people can see it so if it is somebody else's they can take it and it was very difficult not to look but to look at the same time um so i had to make it look like i'm not looking which is part of surveillance i think we have the desire for people to notice us and i think we have the desire for people to um interact with us and for me that's through my art so i think the big lesson learned is that uh Putting yourself, putting something that you have out there and watching other people interact with it without them knowing it's yours um, is difficult as an artist. But I think that's something we need to get, as an early artist, that's something that we need to get over.